So tonight we went and saw the Night House all the way up in Flagstaff because Sedona, Arizona does not ever get any fucking horror films. So we have to drive forever to see something. And tonight we went and saw the, the Night House. house. <laughs> um, and this is directed by David Bruckner, which is what made me the most excited about this film. This is why this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year, because I am an enormous fan of The Ritual, uh, one of my favorite films of the last decade. And I was hoping that he could uh, land yet another film. I also like his other work, whether it be VHS or whatever. I, I do like his, his work, Southbound. Um, now, have you seen... Southbound. Southbound. You yeah. saw VHS. Yes. Right. Um, you saw ritual. The Ritual. So you have not seen Southbound. We'll have to watch that at some point. So anyways, this stars Rebecca Hall and Sarah Goldberg. Uh, two actresses I'm very familiar with. And when I saw that they were both involved, that was another thing that got me very excited because they're both fantastic actresses. Um, Sarah Goldberg is, is just excellent in a show called Barry. Yes. Um, I think her, I think her acting in that show is incredible. So I was, I was really, really looking forward to seeing what we were going to get here. Now this is about a woman who's dealing with the death of her husband. She, um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's it really. She's dealing with the death of her husband. Yeah. I mean, and then she it. starts to, look deeper into why she thinks he killed himself. Yes. That's as, I guess, as That's much as, as we can big, say. Yeah, as you can get. You know, I was going to do a spoiler discussion. In fact, we should have just filmed our hour car ride home <laughs> talking about this film the entire time. But that's a great sign, right? And we weren't, we weren't uh, shitting on the film the whole time. We no. have We have done that. Right. Um, <laughs> But now with this one, this no, was more of an interpretation because this film is very ambiguous, but not in an annoying way. No. I feel like this film leaves off with two fully realized interpretations that work either way. Mm. Um, the performances, as expected, are amazing. Uh, Rebecca Hall is phenomenal. Uh, she is asked to carry the majority of this film by herself, mm -hmm. really interacting with nothing. Um, when I say nothing, I mean no other actors. Um, and you know, Sarah Goldberg plays the friend, the friend who's trying to be there for her. And she's very good in that role. Um, and... We have interactions with a few other people. She has like a neighbor mm -hmm. and, you know, there's some co-workers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But uh, I would say her neighbor would then get the most screen time otherwise. But he's probably in it five minutes. So it's really focused specifically on her. And then Sarah Goldberg uh, gets maybe 15, 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. it's a lot her. It's mm -hmm. an hour and 40 something minute movie. And probably an hour of it, she's by herself. Yeah. So, and that can be off-putting to some people, you know. But to me, this film worked amazingly. Mm -hmm. uh, this was what I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. This is, as it stands right now, as of today, my favorite horror film of 2021. Um, probably my favorite film of 2021. Unless I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, I loved this. I thought it was fantastic. I thought that the horror was very effective. Um, we actually had a walkout yeah. uh, in the theater <laughs> from somebody who got, I'm assuming, she got too spooked. scared. Yeah. And she just got up and fucking ran yeah. out. And her, her husband, husband, maybe, or like... whoever who she was there with, he just said, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> And got up. I'm I'm assuming he talked her into going. Yes. She didn't really want to go. He probably was like, "It'll be fine." Yeah, it's not going to be gonna too be bad. Scary. She got to a point where she got too scared, yeah. or or she thought the movie was I don't know 
scared because it happened during, you know, the scariest scene of the movie, I suppose. Yeah. Like what most people would find to be the scariest thing. The, the jump scare, the big jump scare yeah. of the movie. And she just immediately, boom, yes. up and gone. She was right in front of us. Too, so <laughs> we got a front row seat of it. And the guy was just like, oh, great. And just got up and, <laughs> and ran after her. So mm. I can only assume that uh, she was talked into going and it was none too happy. And he knew what he was about to deal with. Yeah. So a little, Sucks little added. And that's, and that's yeah. the theater experience, mm. right? Um, it can be good. It can be bad. It can be entertaining. It can be memorable. I have all of the above, uh, happen all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but really, I mean, I just feel like with this film, this is really going to come down to, are you the kind of person that likes symbolic, um, you know, films that you have to interpret and are going to be left fairly ambiguous and I don't want to say vague because when it came to the end you and I we discussed it very thoroughly Mm. I I mean there was so much to dissect this isn't a film where nothing happens this is a film where tons happens Mm. and you never know what to believe yeah. You're you're sitting there thinking, okay, am I supposed to believe that this is happening or is it not? Is it is it that you're supposed to believe this is happening when this is happening and not when this is happening? Mm-hmm. Like you can come up with so many different kind of interpretations and uh, you know, thinking about how things could or could not work. And I feel like they all are very successful and all are very um you know, there's good evidence to support them. So, and you yourself are how, I know how she's feeling about it, but I'm, I'm feeling really good about it. I loved it a lot. And yeah, I don't think it was vague. I think ambiguous is definitely a better choice of word for that because it, it, it doesn't leave, I mean, it leaves things up to interpretation, but nothing is, I feel like without an explanation, like you can find a meaning to, for a lot of the things that are happening. This film is going to serve, um, it's going to benefit very heavily to me from a second watch. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be looking for things mm-hmm. like you are. Mm-hmm. There's definitely some scenes. The one in particular that you're looking forward to rewatching is the scene that the girl got up and lo- yeah. left for. Because There's... even though it is jump scary. Yeah. There's stuff going on there that I feel is very important. So it's not just jump scare for jump scare sake. No. It's adding There's another. Yeah. Yeah. That's in that in those scenes and a lot of the scenes that you kind of don't really know to pay attention to the first viewing. Nothing is superfluous. No. Nothing is there just to be scary. You know, it's not a it's not a popcorn film like that. It's not a like, oh, let's put a scary monster in here. Um, because it's going to be scary to the audience. That's not what this film at all is about. This film is very deeply about grief and loneliness Mm -hmm. and confusion and, you know, just dark, dark emotions. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what it's like after someone is gone, um, leaving in such a, um, (laughs) I don't know, an untimely manner. You know? Yeah, traumatic way. Yeah. Yeah. And just what did that does to your mind. Mm. Um, and it, and as I'm sure anyone can assume with these kinds of movies, it's a, like, is it supernatural or is it not? I mean, mm. I, I, anytime that it's like that kind of stuff, you, you know which way it's going to go. But I think, and we kind of both have a different interpretation, which is mm. cool. And I, I like that. I, I, she's leaning more towards that it isn't. I'm leaning more towards that it's possible that I don't know though that I'm not I'm not convinced of myself. Yeah, we need a second viewing. I we need like a second really or third viewing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but it has rewatchability. Which is great. Yeah. Which oh, is absolutely. really cool because sometimes you know with movies that have uh, not that ambiguous twist, like you you can you can only watch it one time. Mm-hmm. Um, we were talking about but, comparisons to 
um, something like Saint Maud or right. Session Nine. Mm-hmm. Um, and with Saint Maud, it's it's a primarily you know single person, a female character who's dealing with uh, with a traumatic experience and um, possibly mental illness or possibly mm-hmm. supernatural. Mm-hmm. Now with Saint Maud, I feel like we get a very definitive answer. Mm-hmm. Um, people still think that there's a different interpretation of that, which is fine. I just don't see it that way. I see it very def- definite what happened in that movie. Mm-hmm. But with this one, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I was going to say something, but it probably is not good for spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, yeah, very happy, very happy with how this plays out. Um, and we'll look forward to discussing this after a second viewing. I, I really thought about doing a spoiler discussion here, but I just don't feel like I have everything I want to say yet. Because mm. there's things I do want to go back and see and say, okay, now I have this evidence mm-hmm. to support this claim. I saw this here, and that therefore makes me believe this happened. Mm. You know? But there are things that I looked back on after seeing things in the movie saying, oh, okay, if that, if this thing happened here, I feel like that gives a lot of credence and validity to that this is happening. Mm -hmm. But I have to go back to that scene to rewatch it to go, see, this is what happens. Or, oh, no, I saw that wrong. You know, Rebecca Hall is, is just, she's so... Um, darkly sarcastic. Mm-hmm. She feels very genuinely like someone who just lost somebody and is trying to find any way she can to cope with it. And her character is somebody who is just very, um, you know, forthcoming and forward with what's on her mind. Mm. Uh, as uncomfortable as that make make people. Um, yeah, she's very authentic, her acting. Yes, as is everybody. I mean, mm. everybody in this film is great. Mm. And it has some fantastic visuals. Mm-hmm. Um, some pretty cool, inventive stuff. Mm. Um, it never feels... It, it To me, it never felt uh, overly derivative. It never felt like... Something I've seen a million times. Mm. Even though this is something we've seen a lot, it felt fresh the entire time. Mm. I never felt like, oh, another one of these movies. Even though I have seen movies like this. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 I guess it had its own stamp. Yes. And that was because of the direction uh, by Bruckner. Um, the writing by the guys uh, behind... What was it? Siren, which is, that's an interesting one because David Bruckner directed the Amateur Night segment on VHS and then the Amateur Night segment was turned into a feature length with that character, uh, which was called Siren and the guys who wrote this wrote that. So they took over that script. I would assume they were probably hired by Bruckner to adapt it. And then he liked what they were doing, so he took them on to do the Night House with him. And now they're also the ones that are writing Hellraiser. Mm-hmm. So, and which is uh, his next project, which is, you know, very exciting because uh, I really love um, what they've done together here with the Night House. Mm-hmm. Um, and they also wrote Stephanie with Frank Grillo, um, which I thought was okay. I remember liking that okay. And then the, uh, what was the other one I said? I looked at it. Oh, I have it here on your phone. <laughs> but I, they they wrote something else that I was like, oh, they wrote that? Go back one. And um, super, dark times? super Dark Times. They wrote Super Dark, dark Times, which is really great. That's a really damn good movie. Um, so Solid Writers. Uh, the, the writing all felt very authentic here. Mm-hmm. 
the performances, the, the direction, uh, cinematography. There's going to be a lot for you to dissect in this film. There's going to be a lot to discuss. Unless you're just a vapid, shallow person <laughs> who's there for jump scares and doesn't think beyond, you know, tits and blood. Which I think a lot of people think that I am that way yeah. when I do like Slasher Sundays. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm not, not. You're not shallow. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, it was really, inter not entertaining, but engaging. And like I said in the car, there didn't feel any point in the movie where I was bored or kind no, of like, never. you know, just wanted things to But it is a up. slow movie. It is slow, but it's not... Ish. Yeah, it's not slow like how The Green Knight was slow. No. I could it's... see people being bored, but hmm. I definitely disagree. Yeah. You know, but it's I... because of the story. I felt it was very engaging that I didn't feel bored in the slower parts. If you're going there for some jump scare centric conjuring movie yeah you're not, not getting it. that that's not what this is no. this is an exploration of someone's psyche yeah um uh, what they see or don't see mm. um and so yeah i mean you, you know what kind of movie this is i feel it, mm. this is the uh, good kind <laughs> yeah it's the psychological kind yes. or is it you let us know did you see it did you think it was all in her mind did you think it was <laughs> Psych, you know, was it supernatural? Did you have a different interpretation, a third one, uh, a mixture of both? I mean, that's that's possible as well. You don't fucking know. There, there's plenty of ways to go with this one. Mm -hmm. But man, I'm very pleased, very happy, and uh, we're gonna talk about uh, demonic here uh, soon as well. But uh, for now, the Nighthouse rules. Definitely go see that. Yes. Um, ASAP. It's in theaters. It's not on VOD. Trust me, we wouldn't have driven two hours <laughs> if it was on it. VOD, but it was worth the drive. Definitely worth it. Yes. Yeah. Because we've driven that far for way less. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, let us know. Bye. Bye. <laughs>